See, this is the, the new guy saying, I'm used to this filming stuff with West Indian and the Shut team, you know. <laughs>
Hell yes, ma'am. <laughs> so we brought in uh, a Belgian golden ale, and it, we want to look at the things in smart water that we can do today. And if you're designing a smart water system, what aspects would you consider as you install that equipment? What do you think? Yeah, so that's a great question. It, it, some people seem like it's not a very important part, but I think it's an important part to understand where you wanna go. You should be designing your system or working with your vendor to design your system for where you wanna be in the future, and then what's your plan to get there? Those are great points, you know, and I think sometimes some of the things people don't consider is connecting some of the different IT systems and the access to that data, the ownership of that data, how you connect things like GIS, work order management, asset management on top of the data, and even different data repositories can add to the value that you bring to a smart water system. You got it. You just described the buzzword which everyone's saying, digital transformation, right? It's taking you, bringing that data back, moving that data around to different systems, different departments within the utility to leverage that uh, smart water data for more than just billing your customer. So I think those are some of the things that we can do with the systems today. If I were doing, I'd try to make a, a big picture plan of how things would connect and make it in phases, as you said earlier. What, what do we want to do first? What aligns with our objectives? What are our critical needs? And you also want to reflect upon different types of technologies that are available and maybe look at not all one size fits all. You may want to create an ecosystem of the best of breeds and things so that you actually are achieving the functions versus maybe taking a sacrificial element in one aspect to gain a better feature in another. Yeah, because that's kind of the strategy we have at CamStrip, right? We focus on what we're really good at and we look to industry partners to help uh, provide that adjacent technology. A perfect idea would be a customer portal. That's not really our sweet spot but we partner with someone to have that customer portal where we talked about earlier uh, in the episode around customer engagement. Um, so I really think there's other things that you could look at too uh, when, you, when you look at that communications as one, you said. So I don't think there's one size fits all there. So I think we should, you know, a water utility should look to see what communication works because you really can't gain the benefits of the system if you don't bring the data back from the field. Yeah, and, and I saw some water utilities as they struggle to evaluate these things. There's a wide array of variables to consider. I've seen uh, water utilities uh, procure a new smart watering system and use it the same way they did their old process, right? And in order to get that value, you really need to take a look at how you're doing business yeah. and change that a bit, right? Change it, improve it so you could take advantage of that technology. So that's something that water utilities right now, as they're planning their vision, they could take a look at what their business process is and how it can be affected or improved through technology. Well, the last thing I'd say is, is often people get caught up in, in sort of the marketing scenario of, hey, we have a solution looking for a problem. And they, they overbuy, overinvest, and they, they're not able to utilize that information because it didn't really mate with a, a true use case or some other problem to solve. And so they get stuck spending money that they can't really recover on a return on investment aspect. It's a common problem. There's a lot of great stuff that the engineers can do with technology. I think it's, to your point, solving a problem or addressing a use case for that particular utility. Yeah, what did you think of the hell yes, ma'am? Hell yes, ma'am. It was nice. I like it a lot. <laughs> so Travis, thanks for bringing these beers for us to test. Um, I really think that uh, the topics that we discussed today were great. Uh, I'm hoping that it demystifies the, the smart water topic for everyone that's listened out there. I'm Joe Ball. I'm Travis Smith. Thanks for watching From the Tap. Only 56,724 municipalities to go, Joe. <laughs> no, I'm not. I thought you actually wrapped it up pretty good, but we can go get a little bit deeper. I want the smart from you, not just the wrap-up stuff. Yeah. Bring, us, bring us some of that content. <laughs>